Good evening, everybody. Welcome to HCAM TV's coverage of the Hiller Girls Basketball Division II State Semifinal Game versus the Northampton Blue Devils uh, here at the Worcester State University campus, home of the Lancers. And we're going to send it down to courtside for the introductions of all the team players. So uh, let's go, Hillers. <laughs> to HCAM TV at Worcester State University, home of the Lancers. Uh, I'm Steve Spector, running solo here for the Division II State semifinal game girls basketball between the Hoppington Hiller girls versus the Northampton Blue Devils here at Worcester State. So welcome, everybody. Um, here with um, Tom Nappy, the two of us. Uh, Running a little bit shorthanded, but we're, we got every, everything covered for everybody. We're excited for a big game here. Uh, the winner of this game will take on the winner of Pentucket Foxborough, which is playing at 7.30 tonight in Woburn, and that game is uh, will be on Saturday at a time to be determined. So here we go. Hoppington with the tip back to Corby, bringing the ball up in uh, Northampton in a man-to-man -man defense. Uh, they've got a record of 19-2 and two thereabouts. Uh, their only two losses is to Division I Springfield Central. The Ivy Goglin down low for a quick two. Nice entry pass. And nice finish by Ivy. Quick 2-0 lead for the Hillers. And they're bringing uh, some defense uh, to play against Northampton too. We'll see what they bring. Uh, a tight man-to-man -man D, which they've been playing all season long. And Steve, I think it's going to be huge to get Ivy Goglin open in the low post today. 
especially without Lily Morningstar. That certainly hurts the Hillers. We saw it a little bit in the Medway game. But Ivy Gogol and Reagan Caveney have been the key players in this postseason for Hopkinton. No question about it. And, you know, uh, also worth mentioning with Lily uh, Morningstar having a really tough uh, injury a couple games ago, um, an ACL situation, and she's uh, on the bench rooting her teammates on. Uh, a big kudos to the rest of the team for stepping up without her and that you know players like Marissa Prowl and, and Kate Hubner and um, Olivia Gladue all filling in the gap and and, and also uh, another sh ooh, too, too bad Ivy just missed a layup down there but uh, anyway Hillers are stepping up big time and Tom Nappy and I are here to bring the game to you right now the Hillers with a 2-0 lead just under seven minutes left in the first quarter early in the game oh nice nice move by uh, number 11 Emma Tanner, senior forward, five foot seven, somehow maneuvered to kiss that off the glass to tie the game at two. And both of these teams, Steve, a lot of versatility, a lot of players you got to pay attention to on both sides. No question about it, Tom. And um, foul on number 21, Colby Jones. And that's her second foul, just a minute and a half left or into the game. One of their starters, uh, junior forward, five foot nine, one of their taller players. They don't have as much height, I think, as the Hillers overall. But, you know, their record speaks for itself with a, only a couple losses the whole season. But they find themselves uh, with a turnover as we speak of backcourt. But one of their starters with two fouls in only uh, less than two minutes into the game is a big development, Tom. What do you think? Yeah, it certainly is. The last thing you want to do if you're the Blue Devils is get into early foul trouble. We know how good the Hillers are from the line. And Medway, they got into early foul trouble in that sectional finals game. And that was one of the keys to the Hillers' success. No question. And uh, ooh, a lot of good play by uh, Marissa Prowl. Looks like the ball was deflected out of bounds. Kate Hubner inbounding now. See a lot of Hopkinton Hiller fans stepping into the building here. Looks like the boys' hoop team, along with a whole bunch of parents and uh, relatives, supporters of the Hopkinton Hiller nation, are here. Nice move, but some contact, no foul. Bodies flying everywhere. Jump ball called by the ref. Down low, still just 2-2. Two, two. 5.55 left in the first quarter. Both teams kind of getting to know each other a little bit here. And... Um, both teams coming in with really impressive records. And the Hillers, I said it to Tom earlier, had a little, you know, if you look at the scores across the board, the Hillers have had a lot of competition consistently, um, maybe more tight games as compared to looking at the score, scores of many of the Northampton games where there were just blowouts. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out here with, with Northampton not having as much overall competition, at least by the judge of the scores. Uh, but the bottom line is they're both in the Division II state semifinals, so. Right. Yeah, and at this point, you can't underestimate any team that you encounter. And I know this Blue Devils team well-rounded, and they haven't had the competition the Hillers have had, but they could certainly uh, stick with the best of them. No question. Ooh, nice play by Corby with the steal. She's had a heck of a season. Stepped up big time, so had some of their best games of her career. Um, in the last couple playoff games, and especially uh, hitting a few key three-pointers. Um, I was at the game against Groton Dunstable. She hit a, would have been a four-pointer if they allowed it uh, at the end of the half. Oh, nice shot by Prowl, just in and out. Well, one of the themes in this postseason, Steve, is the Hillers, they've gotten off to some slow starts, and it's taken them a while to really get going offensively, and that seems to be the case right now in this first quarter, but I think they're gonna need to get going a little quicker than they have, especially than they did against Medway because this Northampton team, they can put up some points. Yeah, I'm with you there. And uh, Northampton just uh, got their first or second hoop by uh, sophomore Sidney Lewandowski, number 33. Tough left-handed shot down low going through the lane. Hiller's down 4-2 to two early. Northampton playing a tough D. Regan Caveney with a three-pointer just in and out. Ivy with an before the shot. Well, Ivy uh, ended up picking it up there and rushing to the bucket, but a foul 
just before Ivy was able to get the rebound and try for the putback. Yeah, Ivy's uh, you know, definitely being aggressive, taking her shots. She's taken three or four shots already. Uh, only has got one to fall, the only two points for the Hillers so far. Ball out of bounds, back to the Hillers. So far, it seems like both teams just kind of feeling each other out a little bit. Yeah, it had been a little bit of a layoff too with the weather, and hopefully the girls uh, weren't didn't have to shovel too much, but they kept maintain their energy. There's a nice three-pointer by Prowl, in and out. Second offer of the rebound by Ivy. No call, some contact, but no call. Goglin dominating in the low post, but she has to finish when she has an opportunity like that. Yep, UNH bound Goglin. Uh, Probably had a half dozen shots, almost to travel. And a steal by Ivy. Ooh, almost a walk there, and it looks like they got her. Nice defensive play by the Northampton defender who anticipated Ivy's move to the hoop and ran right in front of her, and Ivy wasn't expecting it and caused her to travel, which is the right call. And we have uh, Olivia Gladue coming in for Marissa Prowl. 3.20 left in the first quarter. Very low scoring game, as Tom has said. 4-2 Blue Devils. Hiller still playing a tight man to man D. Skip pass over. Ooh, nice shot by number 10, Amanda Mikowski. Sophomore guard, 5'7. And the Blue Devils with a full court press. Kind of backing down now. Falling it back into a man-to-man -man against the Hillers. Looks like some more Hiller nation coming into the building. Three-pointer off the mark by Hubner. Ooh! And some hard contact there. A couple players of both teams colliding. Trying to get to that ball. Both teams playing aggressive early on. And Steve, as far as the uh, Hiller fans go, there's been great support throughout this postseason. A huge turnout this past week at WPI for the sectional finals. It's good to see Hiller Nation supporting this girls team. They have had a remarkable season. Absolutely, Josh Hanna just walking in the building here. Administrator of the high school and, uh, and his posse all walking in here. This must be 100 or so Hiller fans at least. Day after a major snowstorm here, but uh, the building's filling up. Hiller's gotta get their offense going, Tom. It's, and uh, just as I say that, there's a turnover. Northampton's ready for it. They they know all about Goglin. Ooh, tough, tough call uh, going the Hiller's way. I think maybe caught a break in that. Looked like it went off the Hiller, but it's Hiller ball according to the ref. Okay, we'll take Need it. Need some help getting the ball in. Oh, that's a foul. No call. Wow. Very surprised. Oh, nice hustle. Good recovery by Ivy on the ground, lunging for the ball, tipping it to Cali. Ivy's trying to get in there again for, and. That time it's a foul. Well, I guess Ivy's going to Ivy a lot <laughs> early here. Well, I mean, that's been the Hiller's goal all postseason long. Find Ivy in the low post. Northampton knows all about her. They're gonna have a double manner all game long. Well, free throws are gonna be important throughout the game. And uh, Ivy's going. Hopefully going to get a couple here. She just hits the first one to bring the score to 6-3. to three. And the Hillers, uh, as can be the case, uh, both in a positive way and negative way, the free throws can be contagious. So if everyone starts to hit them, it can, can run the gamut. So hopefully that will happen here with Ivy. Well, Ivy with all three Hiller points throughout this first six minutes. Nice Regan. Caveney with a tip in the rebound back. Hubner on the, oh, nice play. Another uh, example of not being able to finish in the low post. Yeah, Hubner, nice, uh, good effort, good idea going through the lane. Uh, kind of ran out of an angle to get the ball up and missed the shot, and then Regan got the rebound, missed that shot. So I'd say the Hillers, uh, at least uh, in a shooting percent-wise, are not don't have their game on. But as there's a steal by Corby again. She's had a bunch of them this season. 
Up to Gladue on the right-hand side. There you go, Olivia. Yeah, Ivy getting tied up there. Jump ball called. Well, already five fouls for Northampton. That's something to watch throughout this first half. Can the Hillers get Northampton into early foul trouble and get to the line? Well, that's certainly a major development with the Hillers only having one foul, Tom, so I, I'm with you there. Regan with a three, kind of rushed it. Northampton playing tough D, 124 left in the third, uh, first quarter, 6-3. to three. More like a hockey score. Yeah, Northampton uh, blocking off the low post. They're not going to let Ivy dominate. And they knew coming into this game they are going to have to play some good low post D. There's a foul on before the shot. Olivia Gladue playing some tough D. She was riding the Northampton player right through the lane. And um, that was the appropriate call by the ref before the shot. So second foul on the Hillers. Well, that was actually a good foul because Julie McGrath had that bucket. There would have been two more points there. Short air ball. Now Northampton trying to be aggressive, shooting early and often. Got Marissa Prowl back in the game. Or I uh, can't remember who left, but Huebner, it just looks like uh, Olivia Gladue is in. She's been in, but uh, maybe Ivy came back. Uh, oh, Ivy's still in there, too. I'm getting my, my act together here, Tom. Give me a minute. Northampton being very conservative on the press. They want to make sure they cover that low post. There's Regan. Yeah, Regan hitting her first three. That was a big one, tying the score. Just to, really, momentum is only 6-6 six to six after the first quarter, or as the first quarter is winding down, 30 seconds left, 20 seconds left in the shot clock. And that was a big three. 6-6 six to six as the, oh, that's a nice uh, feed down low to number 32. Alessandra Campadelli of Northampton to give them an 8-6 to six lead with the 10 seconds left in the quarter. Hopefully they know that. Got to get a shot off here. Got to, there you go, Regan. Beautiful. There you go. That's what you need right there. Nice way to end the quarter. Well, that'll wrap it up for the uh, first quarter. A 9-8 to eight lead for the Hillers. Pretty good start so far, Steve. Yeah, you know, certainly... A flurry in the last 40 seconds of the ha of the quarter, and uh, with the help uh, largely of Regan Caveney with two three pointers to to give them nine points. So other than that that flurry, it's been a fairly low scoring game. But the score is uh, the score. The Hillers have a nine to eight lead going into the break between first and second quarter, and um, I think uh, I think both teams are getting getting a feel for how the game and the flow is going, and they've never played each other, as, much, as the best of my knowledge, so certainly uh, have a long way to go here. Right, they're starting to feel each other out throughout this first quarter, but if the Hillers start to feel it offensively, and they're able to keep that momentum that they had at the end of the first quarter going, things are certainly looking up, and Regan heating up towards the end of that quarter is certainly a, a great sign of things to come. You're gonna need her to strike from beyond the perimeter tonight. I would agree, and uh, you know, one one development that, as as we've seen, Tom, a lot of times, if one team, any team, gets hot hitting three pointers, it's really tough to overcome if you're the opponent. And the Hillers have some weapons in that regard, and Regan just kind of demonstrating that in the last minute of the first quarter. We haven't really seen any three point attempts by uh, Northampton yet. Very disciplined team. Nice shot by number ten. Amanda Mikowski, ball back to the Hillers going the other way. Yeah, it seems Northampton, they're having some issues. They're trying to get the ball into the low post and lay it in, but the Hillers cutting that off. Certainly Hopkinton uh, with Ivy and Regan have the height advantage. And then they're forcing Northampton to take the far away shots. Regan Caveney, senior, establishing herself big time with eight straight points for the Hillers to give them an 11 to eight lead. Finding her groove, that was a really tough runner going down the lane after hitting two three-pointers. Looked like a travel from here, no call. Oh, well, there's a steal by Huebner. Northampton's put a lot of concentration on Ivy. They gotta concentrate on Regan as well. She could take over a game. Almost a walk by Ivy. Left hand. Yep, 
Yeah, Ivy's, uh, here's, once the ball goes down low to her, there she's getting smothered, but in trying to still get some shots off, and they're not going down, at least except for one of them. Oh, nice backdoor move. Good D by Regan. So far, I like what I'm seeing, Tom, with the way this uh, flow of the game's going. Yeah, another big uh, Hillers turnover there. Got to be a foul there, no foul. Mm. Ivy just, uh, they're getting a lot of bodies in that low post uh, to cover up Ivy, and she's having a little bit of trouble finishing. We'll see if the Hillers uh, continue to give the ball to Ivy or if they start going more towards Regan. Number 21 of uh, Northampton Blue Devils, Colby Jones, already has two fouls, came very close to a third there. Um, ended up being a jump ball, but that could have been a major development having three fouls with six minutes left in the second quarter for one of their starters. So, But she still has uh, two. Right now it's five to two advantage, I guess, for the Hillers because the Blue Devils have five fouls already so we'll see how that goes as the second quarter evolves see if that Hillers can get into one and one situation shot clock down to eight seconds I don't know if the Hillers know that nice eye uh, Regan's turning into a tough matchup she certainly is and if I'm the Hillers I just keep feeding Regan the ball she is on fire right now that's ten straight points Tom that's uh by, by her Well, Hiller's feeling it. They're on a run right now. And this is a good timeout call by Northampton. They need to talk things over. And while there's a timeout on the floor, why don't we take a little timeout as well. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Girls Varsity Basketball on HCAM. My name is Connor. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Alma and Gal, and we love H Camp. I love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. And we're back uh, live here, HCAM TV. Tom Nappy along here with Steve Spector, uh, the dynamic duo, or so we think. Tom's actually bailing me out because I was going to do play-by-play -play and color by myself, but I'm happy to have Tom here doing camera and uh, commentary. So uh, we're we're teaming up. Yeah, we got the HCAM crew spread out thin today. A lot of stuff going on, so a uh, little bit of multitasking going on, but we don't mind. Ooh. Travel called there on Ivy. One step too many. Yep, Ivy's having a slow start offensively. She's got a lot of rebounds. She probably has five offensive rebounds and a few on down low on the defensive end, but hasn't found her groove offensively as far as her shooting goes. We'll see how that goes. Still early. Five minutes left in the second quarter. 13 to eight Hillers here at Worcester State. Three pointer. First one attempted in the first one hit, number 11, Emma Tanner, senior, five foot seven from Northampton Blue Devils, bringing the score to 13-11. Hillers with a two point lead. Emma Tanner now with five points for Northampton. Well, and that must feel good if you're Northampton because they have struggled from pretty much any distant shot, so they finally hit one. That's exactly what they needed. Northampton coach not in agreement with that call. Perry Messer of Northampton. Ooh, lots of room there for Kate. Had the shot. Callie with a shot. Off, high off the board. Looks well, like a foul on Kate yep. Hubner. A little push there. And Olivia Gladue coming in for Kate. That's Kate's second foul. So we got to keep an eye on that. They're going to need Kate down the stretch here. So we'll see if we see her in the rest, the rest of the first half with two fouls already. 
Killers playing tough D. Low scoring game in general, Tom. It certainly is. There's been a lot of missed shots on both sides and some great turnovers as well. Kind of a ticky-tack call, if you ask me. Uh, didn't really see much of anything there the, on Olivia Prowl. I mean, Olivia Prowl, sorry. Marissa Prowl. Um, just looked like the Northampton player just dribbled around her, but didn't see much contact. Yeah, any kind of contact in the key, they're usually going to call that. Tough shot. Air ball, actually. Ivy, oh, too bad. Yeah, a little uh, bit of an errant pass there by Ivy. Still uh, more Hiller fandom coming into the building here. I'd have to say it's a little, uh, Worcester's right in the middle between Northampton and Hoppington, close enough in the middle. But I would have to say there's a fairly large uh, Hiller nation here as compared to Northampton nation. Tough shot, number 33, Sydney Lomondowski. She hit that shot earlier. That one was off the mark. Now, now, Ivy, Ivy's having a hard time a little bit offensively, but defensively, she is just shutting down Northampton in the low post. Yep, and I would agree, and, and um, they're shutting her down too. They're, North, they're just putting bodies, banging her down there. And that's a sixth foul on Northampton. Next one's going to bring him to one and one for the Hillers. Well, that's what you want if you're Hopkinton, and they're going to try to draw up that foul. 3.28 left to go in the second quarter. Plenty of time to take advantage of foul troubles by the Blue Devils. Oh, it took Five too long. Like Got to get that ball out. Can't have turnovers like that. Hiller's rotating. Uh, there's Kate Hubner going back in. Probably got a little bit of a heads up. Hey, you have two fouls. Don't get a third. So there's three minutes and 28 seconds left, as you said, Tom, in the half. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on Kate. That's like a kick ball, no call. Yeah, she got away with one there. Ivy playing tough D down low in number 20. Bailey Moore. And Ivy really banging down there. Refs letting the play, which is a good thing. Both teams, a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's been a uh, physical defensive game so far. And the officials are going to make calls, but they're certainly going to let them play a little bit in the semifinals game. Uh, there's a questionable call there. Uh, I guess it went off Olivia Gladue's knee or foot. It went off of Corby. Not an easy uh, job to do. I don't know if you've ever had an experience, any experience, Tom, refereeing. Uh, uh, the closest I could come to that is at UMass Amherst. Uh, I refereed intramural ball. And the split seconds decisions are, are not, not easy sometimes. And um, sometimes the angles aren't right, but the refs have overall have played, called a pretty decent game so far. So, oh, a lot of contact there. Yeah, you, you get to get called for that one. Well, you got a couple Hillers down low. You got Caveney and Goglin. It just got right in front of the ball handler, Bailey Maurer, and certainly some contact trying to block that shot. Maurer saw him in front and then went in up for the shot, knowing that she was going to drop that contact. Yep, 2.50 left in the half, 13-11 Hillers. Look at 13-12 with uh, Bailey Marr hitting her first of two. She's their tallest player, 5'11". Hillers have uh, Regan Caveney and Ivy Goglin, uh, both well over six feet. So right now it's 13 up. Yeah, Northampton needed that. It's only a five to four second quarter in favor of Northampton. So it's been a very low scoring first half. Northampton smothering Olivia Gladue in the corner. They're, they seem to have a really effective uh, full court press really starting to cause trouble for the Hillers and they got to get the ball over half court here, I think. Really full, look, look down, they got to look deep, get the ball over. Definitely a smothering type of full court press. Very effective. Good job by the Hillers to get it over that time. 
And they got Goglin down low. Oof, can't finish, good rebound. Tough shot. There it is. Well, hard work is paying off for Ivy. That's only her second hoop. She's probably had about 12 to 14 shots, most of which have been under the hoop. But that's a big hoop for her. Hopefully that'll get, get things going for her offensively. Two-point lead for the Hillers now. Two minutes left in the half. Looks like an offensive foul. Olivia Gladue got run over, no call. Both teams playing straight up man-to-man -man the whole game. Got the opening. Regan, nice shot, unfortunately didn't fall. And one. Yes, draws up the put back there and draws up the foul, gets to the line. That's what we want to do. Yep. That uh, puts the team in the bonus. So Regan's got two foul shots on that play. She got fouled as she was going up for after she got the first offensive rebound. Big Hillers, Hillers, I'm sure, worked on their free throws coming into this game because I think in a, in a game that looks to be a tight game, uh, barring anything a change and dramatic change, it looks like it's going to be a tight ball game. The free throws are going to really make this, uh, make this game for both teams. So yep. far, the Hillers are hitting them, so that's great. Yeah, it certainly is. Regan's been huge. There's a steal by Kate. Excuse me. And one. Oh, too bad. Ivy just can't find the groove there again. Yeah, rough miss there. But thank Hiller's got to be thankful for Regan so far. 12 points on the night. Good steal. Too bad. Olivia Gladue taking it coast to coast there. Good defense by the, by the number 10, Amanda McC Mikowski, it's the second time she's done that. Broken up kind of a one-on-one -on -one going down and stepped in front of Olivia. Disrupted the shot a lot. Wide open down low. Ooh, I don't know about that foul call. Yeah, well, it was, a, it was a late call and it was a late foul, so. Got Gladue with a little bit of contact. She did reach that hand out, so. Yep, there was a bit of a hip check, if you want, a little hockey term there, but but it was well after the shot. Right. But close enough to the shot where the ref thought it was uh, worthy and uh, brings the score to 17-14. Hiller lead, 55 seconds left in the half. Olivia Dubuque right now at the line for North Dampton. Hit the first, missed the second. There's been uh, five different, or six different point scores for Northampton, so it's been a team-wide effort for the Blue Devils. Northampton looking for a turn turnover before the half. That's tough, tough D, tough press. Definitely a smothering, kind of swarming. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Get it to Callie, who's like the, the quarterback here. Very few mistakes this season. I can kind of, maybe one hand, how many turnovers she's had. There you go, Ivy. Oh, tough bounce. That's a good shot for her, though. Yeah, she's had a lot of good shots, and hopefully the second half she could heat up and start finishing on some of these opportunities. Rare struggles from Ivy today. Good box out. 24 seconds, shot clock's off before the half. Hiller's looking for one good shot here, 17-14 lead. Callie bringing the ball up. Tough D. Seven point nine seconds left. Hiller's looking for a bring a little momentum into the halftime chat. We'd love to get another uh, hoop in the next seven point nine seconds. Refer the referees. Um, it's an, I find it very interesting. They are, I guess the players are not allowed to stand up during the game. I find that hard to understand. It's just the enthusiasm. Oh, too bad there. Three seconds. They got to. Corby with the shot. Oof. Looks like it would have been good. And she's she's hit a few at the, the end of the halves and the end of the games, uh, towards the end of the game. But anyway, HCAM TV, Tom Nappy, Steve Spector here, halftime, Worcester State, home of the Lancers. But tonight we have the Hoppington Hillers playing Northampton Blue Devils in the Division II state semifinals with the Hillers 17, 
the Blue Devils 14 going into the half. Stick around, we'll be, we'll be back. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back here with Tom Nappy, Steve Spector here at Worcester State University, where the Hoppington Hiller girls uh, varsity basketball team has a three-point lead over the Northampton Blue Devils in the state uh, semifinal game, Division II state semifinals. And the Hillers are coming out uh, with their starting five. And um, only, only playing with uh, six players so far, Tom. And uh, be, this is, this is uh, both teams ha got, got to know each other the first half. We'll see if the things loosen up a little bit. But the scoring's a little low so far, and we'll see if that opens up here. Yeah, Regan Caveney was the hero for the Hillers with 12 points in the first half. Ivy added five. Tough shot. That's, a, that's all the scoring as we, as in the first half, the Ivy and Regan, uh, number 21, uh, Colby Jones with a nice hoop down low, bringing the Blue Devils to win and one. And then Kate Huebner, who is, uh, definitely has the potential to heat it up in the second half, gets her first two points of the night, bringing it back to a three-point lead for the Hillers. That was the first uh, Hiller bucket that wasn't by Ivy or Regan. That's what Hopkinson could use. Uh, some more uh, getting involved with the scoring. Good box out by Kate. Off the three-pointer, miss. Hiller's bringing the ball up. Callie Corby, very steady. He's had a great season. Regan with a nice shot in and out. Looks like a foul on Ivy. Kind of a push there. I don't know if that's her first or second. That's her first. Her first foul, yep. For the Blue Devils, it's uh, Amanda Machowski with two, Emma Tanner with five, Bailey Maurer with two, Colby Jones with two, Olivia Dubuque with one, Alessandra Campadelli with two, and Sydney Ladowski with two. So more of a team effort scoring-wise for the Blue Devils. Lots of walk, looks like she dragged her foot. Good call by the ref, that's the right call. Number 12, senior guard Claire babbitt Bryan. Just dragged her pivot put there. Well, both teams had a lot of turnovers in that first half. We'll see which team could settle down. Yeah, number 10, she plays tough defense uh, for Northampton. No question about it, Amanda Mikowski, she's definitely one of their leading players. There's Ivy trying to get it going with the left hand, a little short. Body's flying. Get the jump, jump ball there. And it goes back to the Hillers. Ivy not really falling through that left-handed shot. Tough shot. Got to see that ball through the hoop. There's a, there's a Cali wide open at the top of the key. Yeah, she tries to hook that one in, and it just went off the rim. Marissa, nice move. There's some plenty of contact. Good, good play. Marissa Prowl taking it to the hoop strong, which is... They need that from her. I mean, you know, we haven't talked much about Lily Morningstar, junior guard, went down a couple games ago against uh, Groton Dunstable. Unfortunate injury to her left knee, ACL, and I, as an a ACL injured person myself, way many years ago, the, the technology today is significantly different and better for someone in, in that situation. But we wish, we wish Lily all the best as she goes through 
that situation, and uh, we hope she can get a full recovery and get back for next season. But in the meantime, we're looking for you know some of the other guards to pick up the slack scoring-wise, and um, Marissa Prowl is one of them. And there's a steal by Marissa. She's got the lane if she can get there. It, oof, major collision there. Well, no other choice uh, for Northampton than the foul there, and that was a nice job by Amanda Kerwood catching up with Hubner. Marissa Prowl, she's... Or Prowl, excuse me. Yep, Marissa, Marissa has taken a whole bunch of offensive charges um, during their season, and especially in the playoffs. And um, in that particular play, you could see the contact coming before it happened, and she, she took it, uh, she just kind of anticipated the collision, but she, she, she missed the first one, and she got her second chance for another free throw, and she hits the second. Hiller's five for eight from the line. Good diva. Nice. Nowhere to go with it. A wall right in front of her. I think that's going to be a theme here with um, both teams with their full court pressure. Looks like a timeout. Can't tell who called the timeout there. I didn't hear. Might have been Northampton. Yeah, it looks like it's Northampton timeout. Five-point lead, which is probably the biggest lead of the game, I think, to date. 541 left in the half, uh, third quarter. Yeah, it was a good start to the quarter for the Hillers, and they're getting a lot more aggressive defensively, getting to the ball, trying to draw up those turnovers. Kate Hubner started things off with a nice field goal. Marissa Prawl gets to the line a couple times. That's what you got to do if you're a Hopkinton. You need more than just Ivy or Regan. Some of these other players need to get involved and need to get to the bucket and be aggressive getting into that low post, drop those fouls and get to that line. A 21-16 lead for the Hillers, 5.41 left to go. Of course, the winner of this game advances on to the state finals in Springfield. What a season it has been for these Hopkins and Lady Hillers. It's been a tremendous playoff run. They've had to go through three TVL rivals to get to this point, and they also had to take down the number one seed in the central bracket, Groton Dunstable. So they have certainly uh, earned this trip here to the semifinals. Well, I gotta say, uh, big, big kudos to Hiller Nation. There's a whole section, they're on their feet, wearing their Hiller garb, and um, proud to be a Hiller here tonight. It's quite an accomplishment, no matter what happens in this game, for the Hillers to get to the state. Division II semifinals, wide open three by Marissa. Didn't quite make it. It came up a little short there. Nice, oh, nice turnover for the Hillers. And Northampton, they're having a little bit of communication issues, I think. It seems that the placement of where they're passing the ball is not where uh, the player that they intend to get it to is. There you go, Ivy. Nice shot by Ivy. It's her third bucket. A lot, of, a lot of shots to get to her third bucket, but nevertheless, it's a good sign. 23-16 Hillers, 4.51 to go in the third quarter. Well, if Northampton doesn't start hitting some shots, this game could quickly get out of hand. Good D by the Hillers on that play. Almost a frustration foul. Callie Corby, I think, has not left the, left the floor. Hillers are really only playing with six players so far. The starting five plus Olivia Gladue so far. Now with a seven point lead, Ivy nice up and, up and down. Regan with a nice rebound somehow. Marissa nice. Oh yeah, that's a foul trip there. Hillers dominating in the low post. Just dominating. Northampton, they just can't seem to pull down a rebound. Marissa, if she can get into a groove here in the free throw line, that's her third trip to the free throw line this half. She's uh, three out of five, which is okay. Four out of six would be really good. And she's a tough kid. She, she's very, very athletic. I don't have the heights. She's probably somewhere around five, six, if I had to guess. But we're in the bleachers up here, so. But she is as tough as they come, and she's uh, 
most of the season has had some, ooh, almost a, almost a backcourt, but I guess they let that go. Yeah, she's fun to watch play. Very aggressive getting into the low post. Compete with just about anybody. Yeah, good response by Northampton there. Sydney Lewandowski with a nice move, used her body well to create the space to get the shot off. So they're, they're hanging around, 25-18 Hillers. Killer ball on the tip, 17 seconds on the shot clock. Now the offense starting to pick up on both sides just a little bit. That one just off the mark, a little wide to the left Ooh, on that almost a travel. Attempt. Nice shot off the board, almost came down. Hubner somehow came up with that. I don't know how that happened in, in between three players. This Regan with a nice lefty off the board. Wow. Lord Dampton, they are just getting owned in the low post. Well, as I said uh, in the first half, Tom, the Hillers have a, with Regan and Ivy, I think Re, uh, Ivy's 6'2", one of the players told me that, and I, I think I, um, I'm sorry, Ivy is 6'2", Regan is about 6'1", and Northampton has nobody in that, in that uh, zip code to compete with them. Right. And as the game gets along, it's going to be a, a tougher, tougher road to hoe for, for Northampton with that height, especially if uh, Regan and Ivy get their offensive games going. So well, They've transitioned to more of a man-to-man -man defense as well, which is leaving open uh, gaps in the low post and allowing the Hillers to pull down a whole lot more rebounds than they did even in the first half. Oh, nice pass down low. Yeah, good shot there. Nice fadeaway by Ledowski. Uh, uh, just as a contrast, Tom, you know, Sidney Lewandowski has had three or four hoops already. Lost track, but they're all really tough underneath. Looks at the hoop. She's only five foot eight, but she's taking it up strong into Ivy and Regan. And she's having herself a heck of a game so far. Well, if I'm Northampton, that's who I go to, Sydney Lewandowski. She's the only one hitting her shots, and you, you need to find the hot player offensively right now, and she seems to be it. Nice D by great hustle. Loose ball, Looks like still alive. Plenty of time. Oh, there's a lot of contact there. The hustle that Ivy has is unbelievable. She just flew up the court. Yep, Hillers are laying it out. It's a unique opportunity to get this deep into the playoffs, and uh, Ivy being a senior, and Regan, and also, um, who am I forgetting? Callie Corby. Beautiful play there by Ivy. There's a timeout. Regan was just wide open underneath the bucket. Ivy saw it, gave the ball right to her, an easy, easy bucket for the Hillers, and it's now a 29 20 lead with 2.22 left to go in the third quarter. We'll take a quick timeout. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Basketball on HCAM. My name is Claire. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Alma and Gal, and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be uh, camp. We love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! And we're back here at Worcester State University, home of the Lancers. But tonight, we have the Division II State semifinal game between the Hoppington Hiller girls versus the Northampton Blue Devil girls. And the Hillers at the moment with two minutes and 18 seconds left in the third quarter, holding a nine point lead over Northampton. Three point line, three point launch by number 11, Emma Tanner, no good. Callie Corby coming back with the ball bringing up Olivia Gladue in there. Getting smothered by number four, Jillian McGrath. Looks like a jump ball call there. I'm surprised uh, Coach Greco didn't call the timeout, but I know he wants to conserve those timeouts for later in the game. Maybe if there was a, you know, maybe the nine point lead gave him a little cushion. 
But uh, Coach Greco, I gotta say, uh, has had a heck of a year as well, keeping the girls all on the same page and especially quite a quite a playoff run to get to this point. And if you go back a couple of games when when uh, Lily Morningstar went down only like a few minutes into the uh, the first round or second round against Groton Dunstable, the Hillers stepped up and he, he had to keep his girls focused, knowing that his one of his top players went down and. Uh, the whole, the whole coaching staff deserves a lot of credit this season. Well, they certainly do. I mean, it's so much more than just talent to get to this point. You need good coaching. Coach Greco has just done an amazing job with this program. Definitely a uh, place is filling up here. Not to uh, be redundant, but I'm going to, anyway, there is a significant difference in the amount of Hiller Nation than the Northampton Nation. Uh, looks like half, half the school's here. Lots of parents. Great turnout, both teams. Both teams deserve a lot of credit to get here to this point. Northampton hanging around, 29-22 Hillers, seven-point lead. Yeah, we've still got a long way to go in this one. The Hillers, they need to keep hitting their shots, keep owning the low post. Pretty much keep doing what they've been doing all third quarter long. This has been the best quarter they've played all game. No question. Ivy, tough shot, and it falls. Oh, yeah. The turnaround. You know, the good, the good players, they're going to keep on shooting, and they're going to eventually start to go down, and that's uh, what's happened with Ivy. She's got a couple buckets the second half, which is a good sign. Yeah, she's starting to heat up, and that's dangerous for Northampton. Good hustle, or no angle whatsoever for the Northampton player. Good sportsmanship there by both teams. 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Hillers 31-22. Definitely some more scoring this half, uh, Tom, so far. Olivia, Olivia Gladue, nice decision to stop and contain. Keep, keep her composure. And of course, she gets the ball stolen just as I set that up for her. Well, that was a little walk there, I think. Oh, yeah. Travel. Good D coming back the other way by Hubner. Got to say, the senior leadership here Ivy Gogolin, Callie Corby, Kate Hubner, Marissa Prow, Elizabeth Liberta, Enrique Caveney, all the seniors. Uh, what a ride it's been. You know, they got tonight, and maybe hopefully uh, that they can keep this lead. They'll have one more game on Saturday. And, um, and then looking ahead to next year, there's a whole lot of juniors and sophomores here on the team. There's a lot of contact there. Got to be a call. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't stop her. You can only hope to contain her. And we're damp to trying to contain Ivy there, but drawing up the contact. Ivy Goglin, nine points so far tonight. One for two from the line. Well, it's a sign of a good team, uh, Tom, when one of the top players that re that's been heavily relied upon uh, to score. And she, Ivy's getting her points. It's taken a lot of shots to get them. Oh, nice steal by Regan. Good job by Regan down low. Oof, that and that'll shot do just it. a little off the mark. Well, nice try by Olivia. Well, that was a dominant quarter, to say the least, by the Hillers. They put up 14 points, and that is compared to only eight for Northampton. And Northampton, they're still playing at the same pace offensively, but the Hillers are starting to heat up. And there's no way the Blue Devils can stick around unless they start putting up some buckets, Steve. I think you're, yeah, I would agree, Tom. And, yeah, I think the pendulum has swung a little bit more in the Hiller, Hillers' favor. They had a, a three-point lead going into the the half and now they've extended that to nine points and um, in addition to the scoring it's just the momentum feel up from up here on the perch here that Northampton's gonna have to come up with some sort of answer and I'm not sure if they have the horses to do that right I mean we still got eight whole minutes left to go so anything can happen still very much a ball game only a nine point lead but 
Northampton, they got to do something offensively, and they haven't shown any signs of coming to life offensively as of yet. Let's take you through the Hillers' scoring totals real quick. Ivy Goglin with nine, Kate Hubner with two, Marissa Prawl with four, and Regan Caveney leading the way with 16. Yeah, half the, more than half the points for the Hillers by Regan. And at one point in the, at the end of the first quarter, she hit two three-point bombs right before the quarter to give them a 9-8 a lead going into the second quarter, which was huge uh, momentum-wise and score-wise because they were down most of the first quarter, and then she's continued to light it up since then. Three-point launch by Mikowitz. Re Regan with a rebound up to Olivia Legladu. Plenty of room for her, left-handed layup. Oh, too bad. Great job by, um, I, I couldn't tell, it might have been Ashley McDermott. I, I, I think I got that right, but a Ashley kind of boxed out the Northampton player, opened up the lane for Olivia, who was expecting a bunch of contact and had nothing but a fr free pass to the, for a lefty layup, but she missed it, unfortunately. Yeah, they got uh, McDermott with the foul there as well. And this, sh this should be an opportunity for Northampton to take advantage, but they're having trouble offensively. Good D by Olivia, Olivia Gladue. Ooh, almost a, almost a travel. Tough shot. And one there. Nice job by Amanda Mikowski. It's her second field goal of the game. She's a tough player. You can tell she's there somewhat of a quarterback, only only a sophomore. But she's having herself a pretty good game, Tom. I don't know how many points she has, you can tell. Yeah, she's up to four right now, but she's missed a bunch, so. Feels she, like she's had. Well, now uh, it's five. <laughs> yep, well, she's had an impact on the game defensively, and she's, you know, she's really covering Callie Corby, almost mugged her on that play there. No call. Right, she's one of the players that Northampton really needs to heat up. But she had a good uh, sectional final as well. She's been one of the key pieces to this Northampton team. Yep. Marissa Prowl uh, trying to get an entry pass down low. Probably wasn't there, but fortunately for the Hillers, the ball got tipped out of bounds by Northampton. So back to the Hillers with eight seconds left in the shot clock. Not sure if they realize that. Yeah, they got to get this one off quick. And foul. Kind of got bailed out with two seconds left on the shot clock. Marissa Prowl, that's her fourth trip to the line this uh, half. It was a nice, nice job being aggressive there by Marissa Prowl. Looks like she heard the, uh, the calls from the bench and uh, Hiller Nation that there was the clock, shot clock winding down. And she's hit... Uh, five or six free throws since I've lost track, which is a good thing. She's five for seven yeah. from the line. All five of her points from free throws. Oh, that's uh, big, six. big time, six out of eight. Yep, free throws make all the difference in these postseason games. Hiller's up by eight. Marissa Prowl, six out of eight from the line. That's a pretty big deal right there. Good D by Hubner. Ooh, tough shot, number 21. Colby Jones, who got off to a slow start in this game with two early fouls in the first minute and a half of the game. I believe she has a third foul, but that was one of her first uh, hoops. Not, she might have had another one early, but uh, Northampton hanging around, down by six. Yeah, Colby Jones is another player they got to get the ball to as well. Ivy drawing it up there. That's uh, on the floor, but a seventh foul. It looks like a one and one. I think it was before the shot, but it's a one and one situation for Ivy, who um, is getting her offensive game going a little bit better the second half. Yeah, she has nine points overall, one for four from the line. And number 21, as I said a minute ago, she got into early foul trouble. And she's had herself a nice game, but she just fouled out. Number 21, Colby Jones. That's a big loss for Northampton. 
It's one of her key players right there, Colby Jones. She's all done today. That makes things a, a bit of a bigger mountain to climb for Northampton as the game uh, goes down to six minutes and six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hiller's up by seven points, 34-27. Ivy hits the first. That was a huge free throw there for Ivy. There's another one. I don't know, Tom, I don't know how you do with the camera and keeps the score and commentate. You know, commentary, I got to tip my hat to you, brother. <laughs> um, but if I, have, if I have a question about how many points people have, I'm just going to go to you. Hopefully, oh, oh, almost a steal by Hubner. Yeah, doing my best here. <laughs> a nice box out by Callie Corby. Heads up play. Gives the Hillers the ball. But uh, what, I, what I was going to try to find out is the Hillers must be shooting somewhere around 70% seven, uh, from the line in that vicinity. And um, that's, a, that's a pretty good number. And uh, if they continue that trend, it's going to be, ooh, there's a foul. Yeah, it's around there. Uh, I'll have to get the exact yeah, number. You, you, can't, you can't get the percentage? Well, that would be four things at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you off the hook on that one, but I'm going to go with my estimation at 72.4 percent. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. From the line, but nevertheless, whatever it is, the Hillers have got it going pretty well at the line tonight, and that's really been the difference, largely, to get them that. Uh, oh, nice play! Great ball distribution there by Northampton, and once again, Slamidowski coming through. Oh, nice play! Ooh. Little swagger there by number 33, Sidney Lewandowski, who's having a heck of a game, and she just blocked Marissa Prowls, shot into the stands, and uh, feeling pretty good about that. And you know, this game's not over. Still very much a ball game here. Ooh, almost a foul. Could have been a foul, and I think it was. And this one's going against the Hillers. They're going to get Regan with the contact. Or uh, Hubner, rather. Well, that's a big one because now the Hiller's up to six. Northampton could uh, get some free throw opportunities as well. Yeah, both teams moving forward are in one and one. 5.23 left in the fourth quarter. 35-29 Hillers. Anybody's game right at this point. It's not like Hillers can get comfortable. Nobody can get comfortable here, including myself. Oh, nice move. That's a tough, tough play. Oh, you got to finish on that one. Wide open shot, she couldn't take advantage of it. Nice skip pass over to Corby. Been quiet offensively tonight, but been very steady bringing the ball up and just taking care of business. Ivy with an open shot. Oh, lots of contact there. Yeah, Ivy batted that one in the air. It was pulled down by Northampton. Nice job by Hubner. Nice job. Good composure. That was a great job getting out of that jam. Oh, nice move. <laughs> there it is. That was a big hoop. The, Hill the Hillers hadn't had a hoop in a little while, and Regan coming to, the, coming to the rescue there with a nice little uh, Euro step around the Northampton player and sort of meandered the ball off the glass and in. Ooh, almost a travel. That looked like a travel to me. Oh, no call, but fire. Justice has served it with the ball thrown, been thrown out of the bounds there. Well, that was just an amazing job by Hubner getting out of that jam. She had two defenders around her, snuck out, got the ball to Regan, found her wide open, and Regan finished. And that was a big bucket for the Hillers. And it's now a 37-29 Hopkinton Hillers lead. 3.55 left to go in regulation. We'll take a timeout. It's Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Playoff Basketball on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how it can prevent addiction.
It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. And we're back here, HCAM TV, Steve Spector along with Tom Nappy, bringing you the final three minutes and 55 seconds of this Division II state final. Ivy bringing the ball up. Oh, nice. No answer for that. Coming out of a timeout, and the Hillers uh, extending the lead to 10 points, the biggest lead of the night. Hiller Nation enjoying that play. Ivy and Regan are single-handedly starting to take over this ball game. Good D by the Hillers. Callie Corby with a rebound and lo loses it. Not a lot of room there. Could be a three seconds. That was a great possession by Northampton. They stuck with it and ended up getting the bucket. That's exactly what they needed. Now they get a turnover. Sidney Lewandowski, as you said, Tom, a few minutes ago. Northampton relying on her, and she's coming through for her team, keeping them in it almost single-handedly. And it's still an eight-point lead, but Northampton with a little bit of a momentum swing with a bucket and a turnover. Wide open three-pointer, no good. That one hurts. You had to take advantage Marissa of that. Marissa Prowl. Nice, nice decision. Oh, too bad for Callie. A rare turnover. Good D by Callie. Smart play. She avoided the foul but disrupted the shot just enough. Turnovers mean nothing if you can't finish. Oh, there's a wide open. That's a big play right there. It's getting to be almost, almost crunch time. 10 point lead, 224 left. Northampton needs to answer or it's gonna be curtains for them. Regan Caveney with 22 points in this game. And uh, just, just on cue, unfortunately, the Northampton hits a three pointer to bring it back to seven. I'm not rooting for them, but I just wanted to make a comment and then they go ahead and hit a three pointer, but yeah, great shot by uh, I didn't see who it was, but... Uh, Jillian McGrath knocking that one down. That's her first points, I think, or first three-pointer. Yep. Oh, nice nice uh, feed into Ivy. Regan, nice lob pass. Had to thread the needle to get it down to Ivy. And I got to say, I, there's got to be a few hundred Hiller fans here, which is awesome. And I'm, I'm sure they're going to have a... Big crowd here uh, uh, going to Springfield, uh, assuming they can hold off Northampton in the final 149. Yeah, Northampton's running out of time quickly, but they're still alive in a seven point game. Now the free throws really mean something. They've, al they've already, already been meaning something, but right now, Ivy misses the first one. She's got to hit the second one. Here we go. Tough shot. That was a great feed underneath to Bailey Maurer. Looks like a timeout by Northampton. Hoop and timeout, probably gonna set up a full court press with 137 left in the game, six point lead, 42-36. Well, time out there uh, by Northampton. They're going to talk things over. They know this is uh, a two, more likely three possession game with 137 left to go. The Hillers leading 42 to 36. And this fourth quarter, the story has really been Reagan Caveney 
Uh, that, she's been really the story all game long, putting up three more field goals in this fourth quarter, 22 points so far. Without her three field goals, Northampton is even more so in this thing, maybe even with the lead. Regan Caveney has really come up with the Hillers offense here today during a game where pretty much everybody else has struggled. No, that's a good point, and um, she, she really uh, was instrumental early when the Hillers had nothing going on, and she hit those two three-pointers early to bring the, the Hillers to a 9-8 first quarter lead going into the second quarter. And, um, you know, she's got 22 of the 42 points. That speaks for itself. And um, Marissa Prowl stepped it up in the second half, uh, mostly from the free throw line, but just her overall aggressiveness and athleticism and Callie, Callie Corby having a heck of a game. Uh, doing the little things and yeah, Northampton with a really tough full court press. Well, the important thing here in these last uh, few minutes is no turnovers. This last minute and a half or so. Good job by Callie bringing the ball up. Easy. Working the shot clock down. Ten seconds on the shot clock. And that's a, that's a one and one situation for Ivy which is a good thing. Well, this is big. This turns it into a three possession game if she hits this. If you're Northampton, that was the last of the one and ones because from now on after this one, it's going to be a double bonus and two shots. So not a bad strategy to foul to keep the clock from moving, number one. And, and uh, right now they can all they can do is hope and pray that Ivy misses his first free throw. Four for eight from the line. Well, that's, a, that's a big one right there. Huge. And a lot of celebratory uh, action. Oh, that might be, I don't know what that is. It might be a thousand point or something. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that is a thousand points for Ivy. So I, 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 that was just a guess, and um, it was unusual to see such a big celebration after hitting a free throw, but. Congratulations to Ivy Gogolin going to UNH next year. Having a heck of a game tonight. Offensively, she's had stronger games, but she's, I don't think she's come off the floor. And she probably has, uh, I don't know how many points, Tom, but she's got to have 10 or 12 points and just about 20 rebounds or something. I have no idea, but. She's put up 13 points so far tonight, and it was a bit of a slow start, only five points in the first half. She's added eight in the second. A lot of it thanks to free throws, but. We'll get confirmation on it, but I believe that uh, puts her in the 1,000 point club. Yep, I think that just the reaction, uh, that's a great, uh, they need to refocus on the game because it's not over. That puts the Hillers up by three possessions as well. Maybe that'll keep things loose for them and just have, have them play out the string here, but seven point lead, 116 left. Hillers just need to take care of everything and, and that's a good sign. That's 1,001 points for Ivy and an eight-point lead for the Hillers. Ooh, almost a walk. Tough shot, and it goes. Six-point lead. Man, did Northampton need that. Regan, oh, look at it, underneath, there we go. Oh. Hard foul. Marissa Prowl, like, like I said, boy, she, she has been run over. I'm going to say dozens of times this year in the games that I've done. Now, that's not an exaggeration. Well, sometimes it's been offensive fouls. She gets run over. Tonight, she's, she's been run over at least three times as I can remember on the offense as she's going up for a shot. And uh, Hillers are looking strong right now with a seven-point lead, 58.2 seconds left. Marissa Prawl, seven for nine from the charity stripe. Make that seven for 10, but good free throws from Marissa. Oh, nice block by Ivy. Hiller's uh, in good shape here. Oh, two, two Northampton girls just ran into each other, which is too bad. Tough collision. Yeah, when all the fouls are coming, that one, uh, some hard contact there. 
Callie taking one right in the chopper, which is too bad. Nobody wants to get hurt at this point. This is, Hillers are in good, good spots and get to the Division II finals against the winner of Pentucket and Foxboro. That game's going to start in a little while at 7.30 tonight in Woburn. Callie uh, at the line with 36.7 seconds left, misses the first after taking a, taking a tough foul right to the, her chin. And she hits the second one. That was a huge free throw for the Hillers. 36.7 seconds left, a 46 to 38 lead for Hopkinton. And it has been incredible in these last couple of minutes to watch the Hillers draw up these fouls, get the turnovers, and really the story's been Northampton just not being able to take advantage of some turnovers that they had towards the end of this game. Turnover means nothing unless you can turn it into points, Steve. No question, and um, it's going to take a miracle at this point for the uh, Blue Devils of Northampton to make up an eight-point deficit in 36 seconds. And right now you're getting a uh, view of the Hopkinton Hillers fans that turned out for this game. They have certainly turned out in huge numbers, deserve a lot of credit. And I'm sure that they'll have a, another big turnout on Saturday if Hopkinton's able to hang on to this lead. I mean, it's quite a run of, I gotta say, Tom, you know, the Hiller sports in general, you can just pick a sport, there's just. Oh, this what, season's been unbelievable. It's been quite a run, this the hockey year. team. Yep, exactly. The fall season was amazing. The football, and now, yep. yep. Almost a walk there. Ivy with a rebound, I'm sorry, Regan with a rebound, and she steps out of bounds or is fouled by number 32. Well, now things looking really good for the Hillers. Eight point lead, 21.7 seconds left and a chance to add more here. Regan, Regan, one of her best games of her career. A heck of a time to, to have that happen and uh, has about half of the points that the Hillers have. They're 22 points still, I think, or 24, I've lost track, which is, good which is a good problem. Yeah, 22 points here tonight for Regan, and she's been the player of the postseason. She also led the way against Medway in the sectional final with 15. And for a lot of these postseason games, the Hillers have fell kind of flat offensively, but Regan, she's been the one to pick them up. She's been the one to keep them in these games and ultimately help them win these games. Steady as, steady as a rock. Big hand for Ivy and big hand for Elizabeth Liberta coming into the game. She's one of my, I gotta give her a little plug because she's my, my neighbor on Huckleberry Road for a lot of years, and then they moved out of town, the Libertas, they got four great kids, and Patty and Doug, and they moved back to town where the whole town's happy about that, and their daughter Elizabeth coming into the game with 20 seconds left or so, which is a great thrill for her. And the Hillers just don't want to foul here, just let the thing, let the game play out, and uh, 16 seconds left, no fouls. Nice play by number 11, Emma Tanner, three seconds, and that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Hoppington Hillers going to the state finals, ladies and gentlemen, Division II state finals against the winner of Pentucket, Fox Pro, which that game is going to be going on. We'll know by the time this airs who that's going to be, but congratulations to both teams tonight, Northampton and, Hawks and Hopkinton. And congrats to the Hiller Nation who filled this place. Uh, Tom Nappy, any final words you want to add here? Or? Well, Regan Caveney, definitely the player of the game. She finishes with 24 points overall. What a tremendous performance. And then Ivy Goglin, a great performance as well. She had 14 points. And also Marissa Prawl was big from the free throw line. She put up seven all from the free throw line. A good team win by the Hillers. It was a night where they struggled a little bit offensively. But they were able to come through. They dominated in the low post, and they played some tremendous defense here tonight, Steve. And that'll do it uh, for, for HCAM TV at the Division II state semifinal game between Northampton and Hopkinton, the Hillers. Victorious, 48-40, and they're going to the finals in Springfield on Saturday. So wear your St. Patrick's green and Hiller green out to Worcester if you're going. 
And for Tom Naffy, I'm Steve Spector. Thanks for joining us here on HKM TV. Have a good night.